Pepper Enforcement sent me their two ounce fog pepper spray to review. It has a standard flip top safety design. It has a good trigger. What I'll do now is start the footage of me testing this. I'm 10 feet away. Let's see how this goes. The range is not 10 feet. I'm gonna wait a little bit for that to get out of there. Actually, I said it wasn't 10 feet, but it actually did get on there some. Hopefully I don't get a bunch of pepper spray in my eyes. Yeah, that did make it. I got some droplets in. Definitely a sheet of paper, maybe a little in the dummy head. I don't see any directly in the dummy head. I think this is more of a uh, five to eight foot spray. That's where I'm at now. Let's try this again. Oh yeah, that worked a lot better. Okay, not so much 10 feet, but five to eight. Like you saw, the range is five to eight feet. That's enough, that's the minimum range that I think a pepper spray should be able to shoot. Believe it or not, there are pepper sprays with three to five foot ranges and I recommend you stay away from them. If this was a gel or a stream, it would have more like a 10 to 12 foot range. However, because this is a fogger and it aerosolizes in the air, it can't reach out as far as a gel or a stream. An advantage to a fogger is that it creates this zone of bad stuff in the air. So it creates something like a barrier between a user and attackers. And speaking of attackers, another advantage of foggers is that they are better than gels and streams at stopping multiple attackers just because they just they just really saturate the area and just getting the spray in the general area of some attackers' faces will get enough in their eyes to put them out of commission for a few minutes. So that's good. If you think you might encounter more than one person in a self-defense scenario, then a fogger may be a good choice for you. However, foggers are not a good choice for you if you live in a windy area. They will get moved around by wind very much. Uh, liquid streams and especially gels are good at fighting wind. So if you live in a windy area, I would recommend you stay away from this can or any other fogger. Would I use this as my everyday carry pepper spray? Mm, maybe. Um, it's kind of big, it's kind of bulky. This would have to be carried in a loose pocket or in a holster on a belt. I prefer carrying pepper sprays not in holsters or loose in pockets, so this is not for me. However, maybe it's for you. Maybe you want to carry a pepper spray in a holster, and they do make holsters for this, by the way. So, yeah, it's a good can. It's just, it doesn't, it doesn't match my style. If you want to see more good everyday carry pepper sprays, click the link down below in the description and give me a like and a subscribe. It helps get this video in front of more people and that helps the channel out, helps keep me motivated. Thanks for watching.